My name is Alan Moritz. I'm founder of Digital Peak. I'm doing Joomla extensions since 2007, and uh, I would say I'm a developer. Um, today, I'm going to talk about uh, custom fields, um, which we plan to integrate in Joomla 3.7. The agenda for today, for the session, is um, I will give rough information about the status of the project, <coughs> where it comes from, then the concept of it, then a short um, introduction into how an end user is seeing it, then how it looks from the developer perspective, then a demonstration, how to integrate as extension developer, and some hidden features, and then final notes, and if there are, some questions about it. Um, first question is, who is a developer, an extension developer? Okay, so I hope for the other people it's not getting too much technical. <laughs> um, yeah, who knows DP fields? Okay, it's um, yeah, it's a basic custom field which we used for our own. Um, components and extensions and it's like integrating as with com categories like in a tight way into the component itself um, then we realized we can with a, with a few changes we can make it work with com content com users somebody requested it for com modules um, it works for even for com categories and then we asked in the developer mailing list if this is of uh, interest for other developers. And we got some positive feedback and then started the project ComFields. Uh, it's basically a one-to-one -one copy of DP <coughs> fields. We just uh, removed the DP and renamed it ComFields. Um, this project is still, still um, going. We need for that testers, coders, code stylers, and even people who can write documentation. Um, if you want, contact me or Chris Davenport, who is sitting there, who is the release leader then for Joomla 3.7. Um, you have to get in touch when you want to contribute to it. Um, the concept of COM fields, what it's not, it's not a CCK, it's not like where you can define custom content types, where you can uh, have drag and drop, like what you have nowadays with uh, Essayblot or other CCKs. It's also not a standalone component. When you, for example, when you install DP fields, you don't have a new menu entry um, under the, in the back end under the component menu. It's meant to be integrated like um, com categories. You also, in the back end, you don't have a, a menu item categories. You have one on the articles, you have one on the extensions you install, but there is no single menu item com categories. And the same happens for um, com fields. Basically, com fields is a system plugin which integrates through event into various um, components. Um, itself, com fields is just a management of the custom fields. Um, it does extend JFORM. Uh, I will come back to that then later. Um, it uses the JFORM fields. For, of course, it's MVC coded. Um, and it uses layouts to prepare the value to automatically display the values so it gives them a lot of flexibility to the extension developer and also the site administrator. Um, basically it fills the gap between what as extension developer we have for example in com content we have the article.xml file and there I write the uh, field title, alias and whatever and what com field does it's basically uh, an editor for writing that XML content. So, for the end user perspective, you have when you use the, the Joomla 
branch of com fields. Um, you have in, um, in the article manager, you have a new menu item fields. Um, it's by default, it's empty. <laughs> and when you hit the new button, then you can create the field. It's like the default editing layout as you have in, in a Joomla backend. You can give him a title, a label, publish up, publish down, and all the different settings we know from, uh, from com content or com categories. And the most important part is the type. Here, Here I define what my field has for a type. For example, I can, um, <coughs> I can define it's an SQL field where I can define query, um, image list, user category, whatever I want. When I created my field, then I go to the article and I will see a new tab called fields. And there I can then integrate the new fields so, or basically better, I can set there the value per field then. On the front end, it looks then like that. As default, you see here the label and the field value under the list of the author, the published and dates. And all of that is done without touching com content at all. Um, <coughs> except the, the sidebar entry was added manually, but all the rest was working out of the box. All the rest, like that, is working VP fields. Um, I didn't have to touch any core file or making a pull, pull request, which was specifically for, uh, for DP fields. Um, as developer, it starts on the sidebar. There, the main thing is I have to add menu item for com fields, and the important thing is the context. It's similar to what you have in categories there, it's called the extension. Um, here, the second entry, it means that um, the fields can be also grouped into categories that per default the, the tab fields is shown, but if you add a field to a, to a category or better say a field group, then the name of the field group is shown there. Um, creating a field is really nothing special. It's like any ordinary um, Joomla 3 component. You have, you have models, we have the views and the table for it. And when the user hits the save button, it gets stored to the database. Now comes the interesting part. Editing the article, for example, or the item of your component. Um, what it does on the event on content prepare form, it transforms your fields, which we have, um, we have created previously, into an XML string. And this XML string is then loaded into the, yeah. into the form. Um, then the second part, when the user hits the save button, uh, Joomla triggers various save events. For example, um, we are using the on content after save event to, s to really save then the field value to the database. Short explanation to the database. The database structure is, or like the, uh, the database tables ComFields is using are only two tables. One table contains the fields which like all the settings like access, publish down, publish up, title and whatever. And the second table is then the relation which stores the value of the field. It has the context, it has the field ID, it has the ID of the article for example and the value for sure. And no more tables. It's really a simple data structure. Then for the front end view, as default it comes, it, um, it integrates through the various events. Uh, it's a little bit smaller. But I guess most of you people here know that the on content after title, before display, after display, all these events. And DP Fields is listening to that. <coughs> uh, not DP Fields, Com Fields is listening to this event through a system plugin and adds then the, the output of it for, for the front end. So, that's a little bit, a lot of information, some questions till now. Uh, how do you handle versioning? If you're not versioning? 
Um, at the beginning, it was in DP fields, and somehow I broke it. It um, we removed it for com fields, but it should be relatively easy to re-add it again. At the moment, I don't have time to do to do it again. But if somebody <coughs> wants to volunteer, be happy for the pull request. Um, every field is uh, attached to a language or has a language field and so when an item is displayed for a, which has a certain language then only the fields are displayed uh, which belong to this language. Yeah, I will come to that then later. Or, uh, but the question the question was um, how the data is stored in the database. Um, yeah, for example, for a list, it's a comma separated list. Um, I will show then an example in the in the demo how a list is done then and how you will see it then through the on the front end. Good. Um, from the recap, even plugin events to integrate into other components. Um, component itself, com fields itself, is used to manage the fields, and then layouts are used <coughs> to prepare the value and rendering the fields. To the layout part, I will then explain it in more deeply later on the hidden secrets um, chapter. The layouts are what? The yeah. mm. Good short demonstration. Um, I fear that's the project, the checked out Joomla with a really basic installation. There's. Oops. Uh, <coughs> better? Um, we have here an article on the front end, it looks like. Are really as an ordinary article and here I have now the new menu item fields I create a new field um, I call it jab 16 list I give it the type um, list after you save the field the first time it's um, the type cannot be changed anymore Not, not all of them, only the ones which do make sense. Um, for example, there, I mean, there are some form fields which are for the end user not really relevant. For example, the hidden. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, yeah, but it's, it's most of them. Even you see CAPTCHA, calendar, checkbox, color, gal gallery is custom one, but media, editor you have, text, text area. So it's... Can you extend this list? What? Can you extend it? Yeah. yeah, I will explain that then later. Good, um, we're saving it. Then we give it some list value. For example, foo. Three is bar. And I don't know if you, if you saw it, um, after I changed the type, the page got reloaded. Um, it's because we don't, or ComFields is not adding custom fields through Ajax or something like that. It really, it makes a page load. When you edit an article and you, you can assign a field to a, for example, to a category of, um, of com content, and when you change then the category for an article, uh, it will do a page reload because it needs then to re-evaluate the fields. And that's why we didn't choose the <coughs> approach of adding the fields through, um, through Ajax. I need to save and close. I go back to the article. I see uh, now the fields tab and I see uh, my list of them two. I choose the second one. And then when I'm on the front end, I hit F5 and I see here 
And I see here then seamless integrated to a unit. Um, as I said, even it's not a CCK, it's um, from that point of view, it has basic, basic stuff. Yeah? But I think sometimes happens when we have to choose SQL query. So our, uh, we, I want a dynamic. It's dependent on dynamic variable which is set in our views. Is it possible to uh, create a custom field of that type? Yeah, I guess also not out of the core. Also there is an SQL field where you can define a query and then a list of, of the output of the query shown. But if you need something more advanced, then you need to do it with your own, within your own component. Let's say a new field was introduced, a new type was introduced, that would work, right? Yeah. Without having to Without having? Uh, if you get a new field plugin, Um, I will come to that later. Um, we, had a, we had an issue on the project where we discussed various, various uh, variations, how to include it into search. Um, Finder search and smart search is integrated out of the box. Um, basic search needs the search plugin needs adoption. It's basically one chain. Mm. Good. How to integrate it into, into your component? First and all, the biggest thing is the context. The context must be the same. It starts when you create a field, the context as a parameter. Then when the, f when the form is loaded, the form name is the context. Then when the, sa when the save event is triggered, um, the context must be the same. And then for rendering the output, again, the context must be the same. For example, in com content, it's uh, com content dot article, and all these contexts must be the same during when you work within with custom fields in your component. Um, what you also have to do is you need to load all params or old field sets in the in the params group. Otherwise, it will, it will not work. Um, article is doing that out of the box. Again, Joomla has a layout for it, so it's like one line, one line piece of code to, integr to integrate that into your component. Um, then the fields itself, they are added as an uh, array to the item when you, again, when you trigger the on content prepare event. Um, search. As I said, the, there is um, <coughs> I've adapted the search plugin for a com content as a demonstration. How to do it? It, it really needs um, it needs uh, some custom code. That's the only place where you have actively to integrate it into your component or package or whatever. Because we discussed the, um, if there is po a possibility to make custom field search plugin. But at the end, we didn't find a way how to create the links properly in a proper way. We had a look on contacts, how they did it, but yeah, we were not really happy with the outcome. So yeah, at the moment, we need to take the approach of uh, manual integration. If somebody has a better idea, mm. open an issue on, um, on the custom fields project, and we're happy to, to discuss it there and even integrate if it's a pull request. And as I said, um, at the moment, new fields uh, from the component itself can be integrated um, easily through um, in the types folder of your backend models folder. I will explain that deeply. Basically, a there, need, there is a new file needed, which extends fields type base and a form for it when there, when there are additional parameters uh, needed for that field. Hidden features. Um, the rendering of the value itself. I'm talking about this here. 
that is done through a, through a series of layout calls. The first one is, um, and that's basically not a layout call. It's every field has a parameter to, um, to define the output of a field. Um, I'll demonstrate that. Um, here in the options, we have um, we have an output parameter. For example, I can write it at job sixteen, and then value. And when I hit save, it's um, should be shown then at job sixteen and the value. The value here is not the prepared one; it's not bar. It's really the raw the raw value. Um, but not every site admin wants to de define the output per <laughs> field. So what we have, we have um, a layout for the field itself, for the field type, first for the component, then if that is empty, we take it from com fields. If that is again empty, we take the base one from the component, and then if that is empty, then we take the one from com fields. This allows us to override the output per component, per type, or generally. What it, it means, it gives the component developer um, the flexibility to interfere into the, the output creation or like the value creation, but not only the extension developer, also to the, to the site administrator. Um, for the people who I'll see, go back. I'm seeing what the back looks like. Oh, okay, that will be that will be a little bit oh, hard sorry. to. <laughs> oh. Yeah, good. Then I guess we forget that. But basically, for the people who can see, it, we have that here in components, come fields. We have here a bunch of layouts. Um, so it means for the list yeah. yeah basically we have a, a layout to prepare the value and to override it then per field or globally or whatever did that everybody understands a little bit layouts are still sometimes a little bit complicated um, almost the same happens then for the output when we um, when which will be generated automatically we have a general um, fields or render um, layout which loops then to all the fields and renders them and calls a layout for every field um, it's not not big code for example for a field it's just a default DD list um, why it's done that way, for example, as we started with it in um, DP Calendar, one of our extensions, uh, the output had to look differently. And then we thought, okay, what would be approach layouts? So in DP Calendar, we have a layout how to render then the fields in um, on the front, and that's the idea basically of of that. May I ask you about that? Mm -hmm. What I'm seeing where my confusion is coming from is starting on the right, you're getting the default for a field from com fields layout, then you're overriding with a component if it exists, then you're overriding it back to the default of com fields layout. And that's, I don't understand why you're, you're going back to the original default after it's been overridden. Um, that's for all the fields, not for specific fields. Yeah. Okay, from a different file? Or yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's a bit. That here means it's from fields. No, I'm talking about box two is is overriding box. You know, box four is overridden by box three. Box three is overridden by box two. Box two and four are the same thing. Box one and two are connected, but box one and two are actually containers for box three or four. It's basically that layout. <coughs> Um, defines the global um, container, like the global diff. And inside that layout, 
it get, it's getting the fields and looping through all the fields and then for every field it calls here the field render layout and that's why it's calling then first for the component and then for confields is that good um, yeah <coughs> I don't know if the, that was the most flexible way um, of doing that again if somebody has other another opinion another idea how to do that I'm open for uh, new ideas um, another feature is if somebody don't want to use that automatically what he can do is in the description itself or for example in the article in the description itself you can mm -hmm. add a mustache syntax it's um called kind of a template engine but basically it's um, I don't have to do some regex kung fu uh, I could just write that called the renderer of mustache and it was automatically was uh, rendered we even have uh, in DP fields we have an editor button for it but uh, we didn't um, migrate it to, um, to com fields because we wanted to have then when we do the pull request for that want to have then as less files as it is. I guess at the moment now it's 130 files and it will be quite a big pull request so the idea is then to add that stuff later. Uh, more documentation about Moustache can be found on moustache.github.io It's almost for every programming language you have a library for, it, for that. Um, yeah, for sure, for sure uh, in PHP you can install it through Composer. Um, then even the question that most people had is how to add your own fields in, um, in com fields so basically normally you have your fields in the models folder in the fields folder for example I have here foo.php um, it does something simple it extends jform field uh, <laughs> implements the abstract function and I want to make that now available as type in the list and for that I need to create the file in the types food, uh, in the types folder of my backend models folder um, and this field needs to extend fields type base um, it's the similar approach to JFORM field we have um, we are now in discussion with, uh, with George also if that can be combined that um, the this, this second part here is not needed anymore. Basically what fields type base does is this code snippet to convert the field from the database into an XML string. Um, would be nice to have that into JFORM field automatically but then the problem comes what do we show in the types list which should be because at the moment I don't know Joomla has 50 form fields uh, I'm not sure with CMS and the Joomla framework together and showing that to the end user is way too much but what about uh, making it conditional so you say it's a basic field or numbers field and then showing other things to group them to group them mm -hmm. yeah would be can be an idea, yeah. I'm open, even as I said, I'm open for new ideas. Um, if the field itself has um, as additional parameters, for example, the the list, um, the list field has um, has these options um, that can be added then through through additional XML file. Um, no need to write PHP code for that. Um, to have it as simple as possible. That XML file is then basically that XML file is then loaded when a field is created or edited. Um, to show that, for example, here we have even in the list we have here um, the list values and the multiple, and these are added um, during when I choose the the list um, 
minimize here the XML file for list. Yeah, it's again small, but we see here that the options, it's a repeatable field and the multiple field and that is injected then or like loaded into the form. Question for that? I guess that's probably an interesting part for developers. How to build That's a good question at the moment, it's not possible yet, yeah. but, you, but you can filter by the field, I guess. You show articles with list equal bar. Yeah, that's a good good new feature to add. <laughs> we, have huh? we might have a feature for that. We have something built on something different, but I think we can Great, that would be really great. I'm not sure what I In the database. In the data. Um, even probably you see it a bit better. Even you have this basically these three files which are needed to add your own fields. Um, then multiple contexts. Uh, at the moment, the article manager is relatively simple. What it does, it manages the articles. Um, for DB Calendar, we have events, we have locations, tickets, bookings, and we wanted to support for all of them custom fields. And um, that goes then through the context. That's, that's why the context is so important. And to add more context or more custom fields for more items in your component, the only thing you have to do is you have to create this filter underscore fields file in the forms folder. If you are mig if you have migrated your, um, your component to a newer Joomla version, then use probably filter fields. It's something added recently. I can't say it's three three or three four, and we are using functionality of that and. It's basically, it's a list, I guess, you can even add here more fields, I don't know if they're relevant then. But what it shows at the end is then a drop-down where you can switch the context. So you can then, when you're, for example, switching the context to a <coughs> location, then I have, again, an empty list of fields, and I can add them to the locations, and they will be only displayed when a location is rendered in the become. Um, for sure, we have some uh, public helper classes. Um, we have a fields helper to get all the fields. Again, the context is needed, the item is needed, and here that's a parameter if I want to have the raw value, really like in our list example to be three, or if I want to have um, the prepared value, which would be then bar. Um, to get and set the value, like really what is in the database, you need to have the field model. Um, you can test beside the get item and create form and whatever, all these default Joomla functions. It has uh, two additional functions, set value and get value. There again, um, the set value is the field ID, the context, the item ID and the value needed. And for get value, you only the field ID context and the item ID. See, it's close to what the database structure is. Um, ACL support is done. Every field has an access level. Who can see the field on the front? Um, and we are adding a new permission edit value to the core. And so it means you can define on a per field uh, level who can edit that field. If somebody can <coughs> see the article, but not the field, the field will be then disabled. Um, 
the pull I made a pull request for that. I hope some more advanced Joomla gurus can have a look on it. It's still open, it's not merged yet because I want to make sure that nothing is missing on that part. Good. Um, the pictures are taken from unsplash.com, it's a nice site. Um, there is a Hello World component for our Joomla. Um, we or forked it. We made, we made a branch for our DB fields, but it's the same. It can be used for a com field, just remove the, the DP instead after the underscore and it should work and it really took us one, two hours to, to adapt it to custom fields. Um, Joomla X will have uh, custom fields and steroids, means um, the concept of this horizontal component. If a horizontal component is then adding new fields to an entity, um, it will not write the code by its own. It can you reuse the code then from custom fields on, on, on which, is, which will be available then in Joomla X. So it should be then really like a couple of lines. And again, have a look on our project, custom fields on um, the Joomla projects organization. We need really feedback, better uh, pull requests, it's really now the time where you can really have an impact on that when it's released then it's mostly it's difficult to change stuff but at the moment it's um, it's quite open to so we can do <coughs> all kind of new new stuff um, don't request I want to make a CCK out of it um, it's not going to work it's it's meant to to fulfill the the most, the most um, use cases of, a, of an extension developer um, it should not, not be something um, too big and too, too difficult to understand. S good, some questions. What are your marks? So, well, not a CCK in the traditional sense of the word in drag and drop, but using uh, alternate layouts uh, or, or tablet overrides uh, for articles or whatever, you can get pretty close to some basic CCK functions uh, because in your layout then you can specify the fields and you, how you want them to appear and you can <coughs> create some really nice uh, effects. Uh, we've been using this extensively uh, for several websites now. So mm -hmm. to us it fulfills that need without the drag and drop. So Coding required. <laughs> um, yeah, I saw like uh, two days ago a uh, talk from Brian Thiemann, which uh, he had like two years ago about fields attached. And even there he said also it's like using a CCK, not as a CCK or something like that. And yeah, it's in a way it's, it's a CCK, but yeah, it's not as advanced as I see it, for example. Yeah. Yeah. Back to the slide with um, ACL, with the permission, you uh, set a new permission edit. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, we've been testing to add the second permission on create, so an author on the front end can set a value but don't modify it after or something else. I don't know, but it's gratis mm -hmm. so far. Yeah, I don't know if there is a use case for it. Um, I think about it on a uh, user for inscription. Sometimes they have to set a value and don't touch it after. But okay. on content, is it a good idea? I, don't know. Mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Can I was honestly, I was a little bit hesitant to add a new coral, but um, yeah, I guess at the end, the community decides. Uh, what I didn't see you mention in your talk, but stuff that I find very useful is that you can, uh, so basically you can get access to the fields of the content type you're editing, either an article or a user or a module, but it's perfectly possible also in an article to get at the content of the user creating that article, and then for example if you attach a, a, a 
an avatar image to the user, you can display that image as part of an article. Uh, I can show that if needed. Um. To, to show that what I enabled here is that um, the item itself loading it and yeah it's yeah, quite it's big it's here you have um, that's the article itself mm -hmm. there's the ID the title and whatever and here there will be then in the article a new um, field attached which contains all the fields for example in this in this case we have our <coughs> chap 16 list um, attached to this context so even if you're a developer then or even if you if you need the fields outside of com content you can use them then with just even like the fields help the class yeah i think it's pretty much the same so in his example if you can you will you be able to call uh the factory get user and yes and you can and get the fields of the user right right there without mm -hmm. doing anything else yeah, for, for the user, I don't know what, for example, to automatically attach it to that item, you need to, to trigger the own content prepare event. And then the fields are attached. You don't even need an article. Basically, what you need is a standard class with the ID, category ID, and the language. And that's it. Good. Um, yeah. Some more questions? <laughs> art, art <laughs> evening yesterday. <laughs> um, this is not uh, actually a development question. Uh, I saw in the page that uh, you display the, the fields right under the Is there any way to make up? I know that if I need to place them, so I can see the right the great. But uh, for the information, is there an easy way to? You can do that in the, in the system plugin, you can define that and there it's, it's uh, globally for all fields and then you can do it per field itself, you have here uh, um, if you again in the option, you have it here automatic display, use global before display, after after display, after title, I guess that's what you want to yes. mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. I have a question in the same way. Uh, as uh, I understand that you choose to display the field uh, by using a plugin rendering on the layout in a special position. Mm. But uh, when we see integrator working on the website and personalize the, the screen, uh, they have to put uh, the field everywhere, but not only this whole position. Yes. That would have a, a new deal with the, the, the field in it and uh, another. There is not a uh, possibility to have the overriding of the field there? Um, you can even, as I said, you can use the fields in your, in your override directly on the item, on this item, or you can use them with this moustache syntax in the description. It's really, in that way, you have a lot of flexibility. Do I have to put it in each article? No, if you template override, you take template override and put your syntax in there, and then it works for yeah, wherever the uh, template over. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Except when you when you are you can even you can disable it here, and you can do that globally also on the system plug, and then no automatic integration is done. And then when you, for example, use it in the description, then you need to for sure add it in every description at adding the fields. Yep. Is there any capability for dependency for the fields? Um, I guess so with this um, show all flag, I guess we can, because at the end what it generates is an XML string which we have, which we use for, it, for the article <coughs> or any other component. And yeah, we can, I guess it's easy then to list in a, when you're editing a field, all the other fields and say like that field has this value 
then displayed and basically gigs and it's just a on show and but it's not done yet. But there is work to do. Or you can roll nice cool on the other one. Can you show the validations that are also for your Are you creating a new field? Yeah. What do you mean for validation? Yeah. Check for a phone number, credit card, phone amounts, stuff like that. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, that's also done, but it's again possible. You mean then in the, f in the form, in the XML field, like the, the, the filters? Yeah, new yeah. validation, special validation. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can simply you can maybe just can I use it also for like open draft image and edit in the meter? Um, yeah, not out of the box, but with a, I guess with a plugin probably you can add that because that's then not in the content, it's mm -hmm. not in. Good, I guess we need to finish it. If there are more questions, I'm here around the conference. Don't hesitate to ask. And Thank you very much for coming and enjoy the rest of the conference.